get to having a great show. And I don't have expectations But when I daydream I fall asleep And our hands melt But when I daydream Welcome to Stream Caroline, much appreciated. Just gonna get started in just a bit. Hey Paul, welcome to Stream, thank you, much appreciated. We're just gonna get started in a bit. you who have tuned in on Periscope, much appreciate. Just gonna finish getting setting up here and in a bit we'll get started. Thank you very much.
get started, shall we? Just give me a moment here to correct the volume. Because it's probably a bit too loud. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing out there? Hey Dennis, welcome to the stream, much appreciate. We are live, yeah, get hype. Um, I know it's hard to get hype when you're starting 30-ish minutes late, so. But then again, I kind of started before 10, so that's that's kind of a, an okay thing, because like I said in past streams, it's, it's not really a 9.30 start time, it's more like a 9.30, 10 o'clock start time. I'll update my Twitch one day, or maybe I should just do that now. Maybe I should just do that now, just just for just for the sakes, all for the sakes. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get started here. Uh, just give me a moment here. Pretty sure I've finished updating everything. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. First of all, I'm actually going to see if I can remote connect here. So I have this thing where um, I try to, I try to, um, I try to uh, study Japanese each and every day because I kind of have like a dream and goal to be able to understand and um, speak and do Japanese uh, just for the sake for like a translator work for. Uh, uh, translating Vocaloid songs and just interacting with Japanese community. So, um, and I've had this aggressive goal where I just do 50 XP, which is like five lessons, uh, supposed to be averaging about like 10 minutes each. Um, but I'm very stupid, I guess, so I'm struggling. Um, and then, f uh, for the past 24 hours, I haven't been able to touch it because I've just been slow. I've been trying to catch up on sleep, like, uh, yesterday after stream, I slept for two hours and then had to, couldn't go to sleep right away, so I had to, um, try to wake up for work, operating off of, like, two to three hours of sleep. Hey, Alexa, hey, thanks for joining. Much appreciate. So I tried to, like, operate off of two to three hours of sleep, and then once I got back from work, uh, slept for two to three hours, but I guess it was more than that, so, like, I think I got back to home base at around 4.30ish? And then, um, and then finally ended up going to bed around 5. Um, it's now, of course, around 10. So, like, that kind of evens out to, like, 7 to 8-ish hours. I don't know, my math is probably super bad at that point. But I'm, like, so I'm, I'm kind of getting a full night's sleep. Not exactly. Hey, Matt, thank you for to uh, joining. Much appreciate. So it's kind of been, like, off here and there. So... Um, yeah, but the important thing is I'm trying to get sleep, trying to get healthier, better, right? The only problem is there's never enough time in a day. Never, ever enough time in a day. And it just, it really sucks, but I'm trying, right? So, and I don't know how people who stream full-time can do it. So, unless you live a privileged life and everything comes easy to you, so blah. But, uh, speaking of blah, uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit, um, forgive me my apologies, I'm just gonna do a little bit Japanese, but it's just going to be... Like the intro courses, super fast. Um, so hopefully you learn something as well. And then before that, uh, just to get my daily goal of studying some Japanese done. And then after we get that done, we're just gonna go straight into Tacoma. Uh, just give me a moment here as I remote access something. There's all the all the remote access. I'm just trying not to, of course, reveal any uh, passwords or any of that because that's uh, that's kind of a it's kind of important, so... <laughs> uh, let's see here, so... Partner ID... Okay, and now we put in the password... Uh... Is that correct? Okay, then let's close that. Think about all the dreams you keep inside. Think about all the ones you love. 
Oh boy, that's full screen. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's get this up on screen, shall we? So all the screen upage, all the screen upage. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's, let's show the desktop, all the background. So yeah, but much thanks, appreciate it, Matt. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so this is my tablet right here. Go to full screen. So all the chats, all the chats. So um. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have like two chats running up, two instances of um, restream chat coming up, because I think the restream chat that I'm using is no longer, I don't know, maybe it's starting to get debunked, but it's no longer uh, reading off or connecting to Facebook chat, which really sucks, and I don't like using the new restream chat, so, but uh, apparently it's not working like the old one, but the old one's not working like it's supposed to. So I'm co very conflicted, so I have both up just to make sure I don't miss any chats. And it just, it really sucks, but I guess we'll see. So, but yeah, today's uh, agenda, Duolingo, um, Tacoma, and then uh, after Tacoma, either playing some Smash Bros or Apex. We'll see what the community wants me to play, or whoever's still active, live, and awake at that time to play some video games. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let's do this up. Um, let's pull up. Waifus. Waifus for days. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. So Duolingo. You can see I'm officially at um, the next, I guess, stage four. So it's orange now. I accidentally went up a stage without uh, wanting to initially. <laughs> like I wanted to stay all uh, at level three and just finish everything beforehand. Like and today I wanted to do like try to finish off some of this stuff but i was just too tired at work so but yeah streak 69 <laughs> and i have one hour left to finish this so my bad i'll try to be quick with this so uh let's see here actually i'm just gonna see if i can no okay so that is running in the background okay let's see how fast i can go go uh oh crap is this sound honestly going through my monitor? That's bad. I don't know why it goes through the monitor. I'm wondering like in TeamViewer if there's a way I could change the default. Uh, Cause it's right now going through the wrong thing, but whatever. Oh, that's kind of just slowed down my time. So that kind of sucks. Uh, that's three, four. Okay, I have to select this. Uh, mm, gee. So yeah, my bad, you guys. But hey, if you have a dream and goal, you try and get it done, no matter how crappy life is. And I guess you could say maybe it is. Like, there's a lot of stuff going in the background. I'm trying, right? So, and it's more important that you don't give up and just keep on going despite, right? So, because if you just stop, like, it's okay to pause, right? But if, if you stop and you'll never get anywhere closer and then if you don't get anywhere closer like time waits for no one right so you'll get closer uh, but once you get there it's just um and if you've gotten nothing done of what you wanted to or what you're meant to do or what you're made to do um you know what your goal is what your purpose is uh, what you're meant for right that's it just feel like absolute crap and you've wasted all this time and just it's I won't say demeaning it just they just feel depressed so and who wants to be depressed because if you're depressed you get nothing even more not done right so but yeah there's a lot of stuff going on but it's like you know just if you can't get much done at least focus on your daily goals or simple goals right so I would try to for myself make a list of things that I try to get done daily right so of course that's Duolingo um, no, um, brush teeth, so all the hygiene, whatnot. So, um, eatings, I don't really need to like put that on this because that's kind of self-explanatory. But uh, just give me a moment here. I'm just gonna. Um, oh yeah, this is not the. This is not my desktop. Uh, I'm just gonna it's switch over here. There we go. I should have faded it out. I'm a horrible DJ. So. <laughs> Um, also, I do want to do a DJ stream eventually. So, hey, Andy, how are you doing? Hey, Jay, how's it going? So, oh, Andy, I got some bad news. Oh, my goodness. So, I need to, like, let, um, uh, let the others know and Deborah and everyone else. I can't, I, I'm, this really sucks. I can't make it to, um, 
I tried to like uh, work my schedule and like do some travel planning just to prepare for the upcoming year. And unfortunately, I can't do Meg West this year. I'm so bummed out about it. I'm like, oh my god. So, and the reason being is that I ended up getting booked um, to help and assist uh, with Anime Fargo. And Anime Fargo, it turns out, it's happening around the same time. Uh, actually, literally the same weekend as uh, Meg West. So I can't. I thought it was like, oh, I'm just gonna do like Anime Fargo and then Meg West back to back, right? But when I double checked the dates for Meg West. Apparently, it was the same weekend as Anime Fargo, not the weekend afterwards. I'm like, oh my goodness, please do not make this an annual thing where they're on the same dates. Because if it is, I can't go. And it really sucks. So, unfortunately, um, I'm, I'm going to have to pass on uh, Meg West because Anime Fargo booked me first. So, I'm like, oh, that sucks so much. So, but yeah, I got to let everyone know. But hey, it's like you heard it here on, on stream first, right? Because all, all the streaming. So, but Dan says hello. Restream bot. Facebook, Dennis and Ingson, hello. Yeah, so, yeah, that's strange. Yeah, it's it's working. It's working. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Um, yay, hello, Dennis. Uh, you down to play some Apex after we're done? After I play some Tacoma? How uh, how late are you going to be on for? Yay, all the likes. Much appreciate. So, um, yeah, so it sucks. I'm not going to be able to make it to... Um, Meg West, and I got got to try and let Restream other bot, know. Facebook, Dennis and Ingson Aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, what's Rest Ream Bot, Facebook, Dennis and Ingson, hello. Rest Ream Bot, Facebook, Dennis and Ingson Aluminum. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Why is it doing that? Um, At least I won't miss a message. At least I know the Facebook thing is working. Um, Just give me a moment here. I'm going to turn off uh, text-to-speech, because if it's doubling like that... But hey, at least I know that the Facebook comments are now working. Restream again. bot, Facebook, oh <laughs> Dennis and Ingson, I have to work at 9 p.m. Oh, wait, you do? Why? What's going on? Hey. Restream bot, Facebook, Dennis and Ingson, I have to work at 9 p.m. Hey, Tim, what's up? Welcome to stream. Oh, my gosh. That, that Restream speech. bot, Facebook, okay, Dennis and Ingson, re. Calm down. Restream bot, <laughs> Facebook, Dennis and Ingson, re. She has a mind of her own. <laughs> Uh, just give me a moment here. How do I turn off text to speech? Here we go. There we go. And then can I save? I cannot save. There you go. Okay, so my bad. Uh, re. Um, what does what's the whole re thing? Where's that? Like, what's 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 that meme coming from? So, but uh, speaking of uh re, oh my goodness. Uh, so, um, just give me a moment here. Let me just try and finish off some Japanese. I got uh, less than an hour to finish that all. Um, aw, no worries, no worries, no worries. So, um, yeah. So, uh, how up late are you on till? I'm maybe wanting to get uh, maybe an hourish done of Tacoma. So, but oh my gosh, this is okay. Um, so so many screens, so many screens. Uh, let me just minimize that at least so and that's the thing it's like it's not showing up you can see here facebook facebook but it's not showing up this stuff so i don't know but uh, at least it's facebook chat is working again so that's always good um uh, as long as um i won't know until someone posts like on the other platforms like facebook or mixer if it's working on the new chat because if it is then yeah i'll do it uh dennis says i'm going to bed soon since i have work tomorrow morning oh okay you have work tomorrow morning. We both have work to early tomorrow morning. So, but yeah, I guess I'll play some Apex first. Uh, let me just wrap this up. So, uh, that's seven. Uh, so I'm not a, and then oh yeah, I'm I'm remote accessing my tablet. That way I have touch ability. It's pointless not to use touch ability. <laughs> um, if you set it up for that reason. So na na n n yo yo ku ku ro ro. Okay, and that's six. So six is Roku. Because it's Ichi Ni San Yon Go Roku Nana Achi Juku. So if I'm, my pronunciation is probably but, but. Okay, and then that's Ro, Ro, Ni, Ni, Na, Na. I'm basically just going with whatever I notice first. Yo, Yo, Kuku. Okay, so yo, yo, uh, ro, ro, chi, chi, na, 
not coo coo i almost didn't recognize the coo because i was like well okay so roku that's six uh nana is seven uh and that's na it's option three uh ro that's option four ku is option one uh ku option one detna says i only get two hours of sleep and i wonder why i don't feel so okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah i apologize so if you guys don't know dennis is my workout buddy right so we always uh work out, out together well used to always work out together my apologies so and we always help each other push ourselves to the limit above and beyond but i couldn't work out with him today because my body felt like crap because when you only um sleep for two hours i don't even know how i do it it's like it's i'm surprised why i'm still alive like my health is utter crap and that's why i'm trying to work out but there's not enough hours in the day right there's just not so um but i'm trying right so and it just really sucks so and I gotta stop this whole like privilege thing. So stop comparing yourself to people who have privilege, right? So high is yes, um, because if you keep doing that, you'll lose focus of what um you are able to do and what you're capable of doing on your own per se, right? And then if you're constantly comparing yourself, you'll just constantly feel like crap and it'll just lower your efficiency and whatnot. Like I know, I don't have I I do have it a little bit better. Like I. I'm still not really admitting this to myself because it's kind of like a Christmas miracle in the sound. Like I kind of have a car now, so but it's um oh good morning is Ohio, um oh oh wait there's the Ohio Ohio, good morning, um and I'm thankful for that extremely thankful because I'm able to do things a little bit more easier such as like doing laundry at the laundromat <laughs> so um. But it's just, and I got a car originally to save time and hopefully, like, do some DJing. Um, but I can't really do some DJing. Like, someone messaged me about DJing the other day, and I haven't been, gone back to them. Because I honestly, I, I don't have music. I've been so busy ever since last year, since my music collection corrupted. I, 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 it's all gone. It's all gone. It really sucks. Like, I've been meaning to work and build my collection again. A uh, high means yes. Uh, option three is ooh. Ooh, so um but it's just i just have to um, try to rebuild it again from scratch and it's very it's very hard difficult it's kind of like learning how to walk again after you've gone to a car accident and lost your legs oh crap that kind of hit too home oh, a bit too hard uh my apologies because that actually happened in a sense um but you it's it's kind of like you 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 lose an arm and then you have to rehabilitate yourself to kind of use that again and it's just it just sucks so it's it's very depressing um but um what was i trying to get that all this out thought haha um because that's really what it means haha in japanese um but it's just it's um it uh where was i getting <laughs> this sad thoughts um oh is oh yeah, that's option one um but haha <laughs> option four but um Oh, oh, so uh, let me wrap this up first. Let me recompose myself. So I, I have a vehicle now. It makes things easier. It just, and my hope was to actually have more time, right? So, but like working out for me, that kind of takes away like two, two to three hours of my day, right? So one to actually 90 minutes of working out and it's not as efficient. Like I have a gym pass, which I'm also extremely thankful for uh, at a really cost effective rate. Um, but of course working out and not being at my strongest and cripes, not having the proper nutrition takes me around like 90 ish minutes altogether, maybe two hours. And also I had to work out. So, and, uh, Dennis says, what about a DJ stream? I know I want to do that. Like I have the gear. I just, I don't have my music. Literally it's all deleted and gone at, uh, well, it's not deleted and gone. I just have to test through it. And that's why I'm hoping to go to anime detour, uh, because, um, also oh, good news today. Um, I got. Uh, a USB uh, micro SD card, right? So I'm gonna load up all my corrupted music on that. And when I, if I'm able to go head down to Anime Detour while I'm driving down, because it's an eight to nine hour ride, while I'm driving down, I'm gonna try and listen as much to my music collection as possible to see which is corrupted. Because that's the thing, last uh, gig I played was at Icon, and when I played, I was playing a song, and all of a sudden the song cut out, and everyone's like, what's going on? I'm like, frick, and that happened because, like, the song was corrupted. And I didn't know, I honestly didn't know. So, uh, stream you making the new music, I know, right? So, like, I'm a part of this producer group where 
Uh, we have one hour challenges for one hour. You just focus on creating music just to get good, like once a week, because you're not going to get any good if you don't practice at all. Right. So uh, red is a Kai or Aka, I guess. Um, Chiro, that's white. Um, so yeah, just um, so I'm hoping I could get that underway and then like get back into DJing. So, because doing some DJing off to the side, I can maybe earn some money again. So, and then I need the money because you know, expenses like that uh, micro SD card did not come cheap, but I got it like 50% off, so I'm not going to complain. And it's a 256 gig card, right? And also with that. Um, it ha it has a write speed of 80. Like all my micro SD cards minimum uh, write speed of 80. Otherwise, I don't know anything slower, and it just takes forever. Cripes. So, or more importantly, like um, if I'm recording like 4K, uh, 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 or if I'm uh, taking successive photos, or just even transferring. Like ever since I had uh, Chi Chi and then Sa Sa, ever uh, that's Chi Chi and then Ka Ka. Ever since um, I had uh, Samsung pro micro sd card uh because the write speed is that it's like oh well, maybe 110 12 or at least well over 80 right and when i compared that to like a, a card speed that had like a write speed of 20 night and day night and day like come on like 20 megabytes per second versus 80 megabytes per second that's literally like four times two two times four. yeah it's so <laughs> it's literally four times fast and it's it's nine day like because I remember using that a Samsung micro SD card doing my set for Icon, uh, for Summer Icon, uh, DJing along with Greg Ayers, and I had like less than like thirty minutes, I think closer to forty five minutes to prepare a set, and I was just scrambling, right? So, and if I didn't have a fast writing micro SD card, um, then I would have had nothing to perform with. But thanks to technology and thanks to just uh, being actively prepared and prepping music. I was able to transfer it all uh, completely over, although I was DJing blind because I've never um, played with that music before. I just listened to the music. It's like, oh, this would be awesome and fun to DJ with. But like, um, just um, if I wasn't able to transfer it quickly, I would have been just sweating buckets. It's like, come on, come on, come on. But thank goodness, like um, the dance started late because cosplay um, started uh, or ended late. So it kind of worked out. So I was like, oh, made in time. But any later and it, it just would have been an... I won't say no show. It just would have looked bad. So uh, owl is blue. So, um, but yeah, and if it makes that type of difference, like uh, if it would have taken me four times as longer, cripes, I wouldn't have that opportunity, and everything would have been. So thank you, uh, so much to Greg again. Thank you so much to Icon, and thank you so much to myself for, uh, just being on the leading edge of technology to make miracles, miracles, but like making uh crazy awesome stuff like that. Uh. -uh happen and it was totally worth it because the crowd was totally into it it's like it was lit so oh oh yo yo she she so yeah but uh just give me a moment here. i'm just gonna stop talking for a bit and try to focus on this let's check facebook see uh if anyone's uh joined in as of late unfortunately not so but yeah um let's try and finish this off quickly and then we're just gonna jump straight into like dennis what do you want to play today apex apex so Al is blue. Oh, I forgot to read that off. Okay, and then Aka is red. Chiro is white. Oh, come on. Right, there we go. And then she is option two. That is Ka is option three. Um, Ah uh, is option three. I want to select the wrong option. She is option four. Yay. And then one more round to go, you guys. I'm usually fast at this, so. There we go. And then she... Oh, I think this is an upgraded version. Because there's less matching pairs. Yeah, I think I had to... Ichi is one. I think I had to write this all out. It's actually faster for me if it's, like... Keyboard. The only problem is if it's not, like, a selection type like this. So, E, E, Ni, Ni, Chi, Chi. Um... I won't be able to do it on mobile because before, like, if I didn't have, like, especially at the laundromat, I'll just, um, eat, um, yeah, so because the I sound actually sounds like E in Japanese. Um, I usually do Duolingo on my phone, right? So, um, and then if it's like, uh, if, if I had to type it in, 
Um, it kind of screws up on my mobile, but then again, I'm using iDevice, so Apple device, so maybe that's why. So, um, but I don't know when I go to the laundry mat now, I just bring my tablet just so that while I'm waiting for laundering, launder, <laughs> laundry, laundry, while I'm waiting for my laundry to finish, neat, neat. Uh, that's neat. Oh, oh, almost looked the wrong option there. Um, I at least um, try to get it done and be productive while I'm waiting. So, because when you have that goal, right? E E. Okay, and then that's cheat for. Oh, this is a lesson one. I can't hear this. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna unmute my tablet. Oh, that's one. <laughs> All that just for. There you go. I remember itchy. It's kind of like you're itchy, but it's your like your itches. Your itch is like number one. <laughs> so crap! I got another listening one. Oh, that's neat. So that's two. I'm just gonna select it. You might not be able to hear in the background. You might, but hey, I'm done. Yay! Yay! Okay, and that's my daily quota. Seventy. Seventy. We did it. We did it, boys. We did it. So, um. Overall, I think um, of all time. See, where's 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 my challenges? Where's my challenges? This month, eleven ninety, all time four thousand and seventy XP. I am determined. I I want to get this done. I it, and that's the thing. At one point, I'm going to ooh, you earn seven lingots. At one point, I want to um, challenging. Um, Eventually, Duolingo will not be enough, so I'll probably change it to a point, or I should change it to a point, actually right now, since I don't have time, to just do 10 XP a day, so one lesson a day, and then start doing other Japanese lessons. So maybe I should have streams of just doing Japanese. So, But anyways, um, that is it. I'm just going to go back to the labs of streaming. And Dennis, if you're still on, let's play some Apex. I am in the general thingamajugger. So uh, let me know if you're still there. If not, um, sad face. And I'll just play some Tacoma. Just play without you. Who needs Who needs friends? <laughs> so. Oh, and Troy says. Oh, and also Troy started working out with us as well. And you know you have a good set of friends when not only do you game with them, but also you're, they're your workout buddies. It's like it doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely doesn't get any better than that. But uh, yeah, just give me a moment here. Let me put. Oh yeah, it's the blinders. Were you guys not able to see this entire time? I can't tell if I did this or not. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel Restream bad. What? Play around with me, bro. Play around with me. <laughs> so, what? Come on. Um. Just one round. <laughs> Just one round. Okay, do you have Apex loaded up, by the way? Uh, just give me a moment here. Let me just close the restream. There you go. Don't want you guys seeing my passy woods. There you go. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's get um, let's get the restream bot up and going up on here um no not restream bot it was the um origin there you go okay let, dennis let's do this let's do one more round or did you just want to give your support and just tune into stream and just say hi so oh crap are you serious Come on. oh my goodness uh no computers what what do you mean computers off so did you did you want to play at all or did you just want to give your support because let me know and i'll either apologize profusely or just thank you for your graciousness <laughs> so what do you mean computer is off i um, I don't know for me, I'm the type of guy who always leaves my computer on, right? So, but this is coming from the day, like for me, I like way back in the days of computing. Oh, my voice is cropping out. Sorry, I didn't want to cough in your ear. Um, where it would take so long to boot up a computer, I would just leave it on. It's like, what's the point of turning it off? I didn't waste time trying to turn it back on. I need, I, I need it now, you know. So, 
So thank goodness for Solid State Drives because everything just starts off super fast. Uh, lol, we had to uh, play earlier in the night. Oh man, are you serious? Well, at least you get your sleep. That's good. That's good. So, um, I don't know, maybe tomorrow then? Maybe tomorrow? So, um, I'll try and... Like, how early do you, like, would want me to start? Like, do you want me to try and start at 8.30? That way I start at 9. <laughs> And I don't know I love Apex because it's so quick to get into a game, and that's the thing. Games are usually like three minutes each, so you get a lot of action, and and you don't have to wait much to load. The only problem is if you're not good, you just die really quickly. So, but that's any at all Royale game. So, uh, okay. Uh, what what do you mean? Okay, like you want me to try and start earlier? Like, start an hour earlier, or? You know, this would be so much more easier if you jumped into the Discord. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, who is online? Can I see who's online? Uh, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, I'll try and start uh, for that start time tomorrow. I'm going to feel like getting wrecked. But it, that's the thing. If I sleep well tonight, I should be fine. And um, also, I got to pack my gym clothes into my car or into my backpack, at least. I can't forget that because I know. Um, did you do arm day or leg day today? Because can't miss out on the workouts. How do I access my friend list? Like who friend is this? The status I'm online. Oh, here it is. Between. I like how everyone's online, but no one's actually playing a game. So uh, maybe I'll buy out of that. Then play some Tacoma after the gym tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna feel so wrecked. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. So it's it's noted here, you guys. Gonna gonna play arms. Ouch. Oh, you must be sore, buddy. So, but um, all those supersets. Um, but yeah, for me, um, yeah, I'm gonna tr uh, try and start early. Uh, right after work. So either 7 p.m. or earlier. I'm not quite sure when this is a new format, but uh, you heard it here, folks, because Dennis needs to sleep and I need to, I guess, sleep as well. So it's just after I'm done work, I'm just so spent, you know what I'm saying? But maybe if I slept properly, um, I wouldn't feel so spent after work. So we'll see. But yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in, Dennis. Much appreciate. Um, I'll see you um, next time. Um, you get some good rest. I'll see you tomorrow because leg day tomorrow. Uh, so, but yeah. You take care. No, not that sore. Oh man, getting good. GG. You're you're get you're adapting stronger, better, faster, more mechanical. So, but yeah, awesome. Anyways, yeah, thanks for tuning in, man. Much appreciate. You get some good sleeps, eh? So, uh, speaking of good sleeps, thank you so much uh, to once again Matt for tuning in and Skylar. You guys rock absolutely. And uh. Let's see here. Okay, so let's get some Tacoma running. Tacoma. Yeah, and if there's no one available uh, to just uh, play, uh, then I guess I will not play some Apex or Smash. I'll just focus on playing some Tacoma and going to sleep early. That way I'm ripped and ready for tomorrow. So yeah, let's get some Tacoma up. But yeah, much appreciated. Thanks for uh, tuning in, Dennis. You rock. Yeah, have a good night, eh? Okay, so let's continue game. Okay, so this is where I was last time. Okay, so I think I got all the, uh, the talking points here. But her thing is locked, so... Privacy? The Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my god. Net. So a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access? Okay. 
I like this revolving feature. There's good news. That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh huh. Ah, so how about this? No, that's alright. Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my god. Oh. yet. You don't have access to Odin. No. There's a whole part of the network He's like, I can't what even is going on? People, people, <laughs> everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit. But don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Why? Then again, rules are rules. Yeah. Nat. Look, look how much. Look how much. She can't do her well job. While you still have it. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. That's sad. Okay, so now the question is where to go from here. Oh, I got a script error. What's going on, Tabli? What's going on, Tablet? What's going on? You got this, Tablet. Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> Let's see here. By the way, thank you again, Gabrielle, for liking the stream. Always appreciate you showing some support. You rock. You rock. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. There you go. Is this muted? There you go. Okay, um, where to now? Airlock. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of self-explanatory there. Okay, so I've talked. Laundry? Not laundering. Real question is where to go to now? Office. Oh, that locker room is also already there. And this is Clive's office. Is there anything here I could access? No, I already checked that out. Oh, workstation. Here we go. Interis belt. Coming online in 2088. Current employees and contractors of us now. Oh, that's like something here. Uh, let's check his mail. From Ventus Contractor Relations Account. Uh, Venturis Belt Operations Team Transfer Request. I'll be honored to join your team. Contractor Siddiqui, uh, we have received your inquiries about your application for position Venturis Belt Timeshare Sales Coordinator. As noted in our prior message, your materials are under review and will be considered along with all other applicants for this position. We will contact you with any further updates as necessary. Like, he was planning on, he was, well, I guess he's a proactive guy. He applies at other places, and like, mm -hmm. if the captain's not there, it's like, what's the point of him being there, right? So... Well, he has options, and that's good for him, right? So, uh, notes to self, call mother, aw, Evie's birthday coming up. He must really like Evie. Uh, Jim Locker, 1407, uh, send, request Evie special cat food, don't slack off in gym, search AR tutorial cake decoration. Oh, that's nice. I can tell he's a very um, proactive guy, very efficient, so. Not bad looking either, so. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna help me much. So I was hoping for a few more clues. Oh, this is the Lunar Resort? It's like, huh, much better than this station. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, just give me a moment here, guys. I'm gonna see if I can... I'm gonna turn it off. No, turn back on. Uh... Let's see your text to speech. Hopefully, it doesn't do that weird doubling effect. If it does, I'll just have to like check it manually. Okay, so now that we're done here, let's check out the other areas. Operations, how's that upload doing? Uh, okay. Completed upload. I 
I'm just still kind of like, no, oh, I'm still kind of iffy about everything. Okay, Subtractor Ferio, please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process. As per your contract, time is of the essence with respect to the mission. Okay, oh, I, ooh, that kind of looks corrupted. I already went there. So, to the biosphere module. By the way, once again, the maths, Matthew and Matt, thank you for uh, tuning in. Much appreciate. Oh, it's a literal ad. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I think my tab has frozen. That kind of sucks. Uh. Hello. Where he sucks. Oh, let me just try refreshing here. Okay, so we want to go to biomedical. Hopefully, there's not much corruption down here. Aw, Ventura's Belt, Orbital Vacation Bungalows. I like how, like, open cultured it is. There we go. Stream is back to the thingamajigger on my tablet, so it's monitoring so I can see if anything's going on wrong. Okay, so let's check this out. So far, so good. I think I'm getting used to this. Hey, plants and stuff. Attention. Okay, yeah, let's open the panel here. Let's put my tab in. Or in-game tablet, I guess. Okay, and then battery. Uh, let's go in medical first. Oh yeah. Cared for them? What? Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright. Good speed. Okay, so... Let's check out this recoverable data. Uh, emergency in effect. Cryogenic facilities active. Six pods occupied. Oxygen supply. Oh, this is after the fact. And there's five people, but there's only four pods available. That's not good. Tacoma's remaining. To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops and displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and EV and Clive going into cryo. Okay, so they're already in cryo. That's good. Going into cryo, that counters. That counter should give you a pretty good keep an eye on it. Okay, so because there's um, people are breathing less air, that's good. So that gives more time. Way to go. Um, oh, I suck with names. I'm trying to make things better. So. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can recover this. Okay, message to Navali Kurdoshenko. Hey ladies, your scans look good. You're cleared for cryo. If God forbid, <laughs> into the pods, attaching the same standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Cryogenic sleep and patient's guide. In the case of a medical emergency when a surgical or other required medical facilities, uh, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transferred for treatment, here's a quick look at... Um, Preparation, medical staff will scan, 
and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by intervals. Oh, okay, so someone needs to be alive to kind of like monitor them. A dosage of di diuretics and laxatives and give them time for your body to react to them before. Uh, medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity, uh, medical staff will have special training to... Um, no, no, I can't read that. So, uh, let's see here. Okay, there's still some more data. Oh, this was two days ago. That's corrupted. Okay, so 50 hours. Wait, 50 hours? 24 hours? Yeah, so someone should still be alive and well. I am scared. Because there's someone on the ship. Wait, how many? How many, Mikkel? Four. Two, four. Yeah, and then there's these. How many ship members were there again? Just give me a moment here. Let me pull up my AR desktop. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, crew roster, there you go. There's six people. Okay, unless they're all in cryo right now. I don't know. So, I just feel something doesn't feel right, you know, you guys, right? So, but yeah, I think that's everything uh, I can access in here. And of course, is she locked? No, she's not locked. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Would it? Yeah, but the raw nav data is uh, formatted for the Zenus AI use, not, I guess, for Odin's use. Earth's going to need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls, so... Uh, navigation code itself interpret the data and display its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed, yes. I understand. I will prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software and... That was it. No, it's... Uh, oh, this is with the EV. Uh, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I just want to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know I'm not going to let you down. Uh, that's very sweet. Uh, Nat, I appreciate it. I need to see you on the other side. This user is offline. Oh, that's failed. That's probably going to fail. Network specialist. Okay, and then anything on her? I guess not. Once more into the breach. Wait, what is this whole password protect thing? Oh, it's probably because. Yeah. What? I don't know. I. I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yes. Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they looked so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other the last time they'll ever see each other. Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. I've done that. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. Did someone commit murder? <laughs> and it gets deeper, so... Also, thank you again for joining again, Matt. Much appreciate it. But... 
you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? I think we can get it off. Why is this locked? Secure medical storage position access only physical locking device. So far, there's three locks that I've encountered. I haven't been able to do anything for. Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. 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 Okay. Um Let's restart that. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sarah. Oh, we want too much. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? Oh. I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. What? If we do make it out of if we do make it out of this thing, if we do make it, do no harm. No harm. Okay. Hey Jessica, how's it going? I'm just streaming a bit. Thank you for tuning in. Much appreciate. You rock. If we if we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out. I Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out. I didn't tell her everything at some point. Ooh. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. True Andrew that. is here for his exam. Oh. Uh, send them in. So you showed up for your. Okay, so let's try to follow. I ventured too far. I ventured too far. Okay, let's take a look at his AR desktop. So to Nicholas Dagyab Figuera, Mark Figuera, love you both. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but uh, accident on the station, and if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. Uh, and I'm sorry, Nicholas, I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to uh, be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together, but... Don't forget me. Know that I loved you more than... I'm sorry, Odin. I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Aww. Okay, station message with Roberta Williams. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system. No onboard controls at all. There's not even enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station and hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to man manually pilot uh, the six of us from Tacoma to the moon so I really need to get back to it sorry thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen and that algae thing Andrew so just in case uh, Roberta's working on a contingency plan just in case if cryo doesn't work so she's basically trying to make a drone um, habitable for human life when it was never meant to in the first place. Way to MacGyver and I guess put herself at risk. But then again, going to cryo goes at risk. But she's probably doing it because she knows that Nat probably doesn't have a good chance at cryo. So, okay, uh, from Ev St. James, prepping for Cairo. Dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I, uh, not why I wish I weren't signing these words. It is because, above all, I believe in this crew, and uh, it's be uh, it is because, above all, I believe in this crew, and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. 
If we have the right people to make our plan a reality, we will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel the earth's full again together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle into cryo. Soon, Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat. We're all counting on you. Couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Evie St. James and Clive Sticky. So senior management has gone into cryo. Uh, with Odin. Uh, Andrew, really, really, you cross it. Answers to your frequently asked questions. Ventura's contractor handbook. While Ventura strives to ensure the safety of each of its contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In the case that a contractor dies, transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid by Ventura's loyalty and additional Ventura's accident insurance that the contractor has invested in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty continues to accrue contract term. Stay safe up there. It is everyone's job to keep contractors' employees safe. So he is already. So at least he's being prepared, looking into what happens after. And kudos to you. Way to be a good dad. Because when your parents do that, speaking of personal experience, everything just goes to crap. Hey, Devon, how are you doing? Are you up to play some. Um, are you up to play some uh, Apex later on or what? Let me know. So, Okay, so in the meantime, let's see what he has to say. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. <laughs> oh man, that's sorry. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen? I will tell her that you are here. Exam. Oh. That is a Odin, is Sarah ready for me? Debate. I will and tell her that you are here. Exam. Oh. oh wow, he replies in real time. So the moment he gets it, it's like Andrew's there, and like, didn't that was so fast? Like, like let's listen to that again. Andrew, because you are here. Exam. Like by the time he's responding, he's already told her. That is fast and efficient. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well... When you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, and don't wake back up. You just don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. He's really concerned about dying. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? Oh, how the frick did we get here? This must be her office. Oh, yeah, so just right after imaging. Non crew member profile detected. AR Bioscan. Oh, it's probably talking about me. Yay, washing! Always good to have clean hands. Uh, let's see. Why is there a skeleton? <laughs> like literally talking about skeletons in the closet, yo. I like how there's actually time for doctors up. Uh, let's take a look at our AR desktop. Yeah, there's a variety of different sounds. More of an ocean beach type of fella. Okay, let's take a look at our air station here. Interest belt. That's an ad. That's her ID. Uh, mail. Okay, updated record pin. Updated. Contractor has Mati. Thank you for updating your crew AR Bioscan records access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase for your future reference. Graduation. 
Oh. I swear, if there's a time-related event, I would still fail it. Okay. Uh, Ventura's Confidential Communications Department subject renewal options. Contractor has body. We would like to remind you, uh, while you're posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma is currently up for renewal, there would be many more postings options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, 2085 upon the Fountain of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities within Venturis would be significantly improved. A personal responsibility for the post for the incident? What incident? Let me pull up my AR manual. Uh, my AR. What's the date today? Of course, that doesn't tell me jack all. Okay, I guess that's something to be figured out. I guess in the future they don't have they don't have calendars. Ha ha ha. Whatever. So, oh, I'm starting to get dizzy. Ugh. Maybe it's my field of view. Maybe it's too much field of view. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I searched that all. Uh, let's close this AR desktop. I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion. <laughs> he does Then not. I'll just have to... Hey, <laughs> Burton, Nat can get it done. I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. What the heck? Oh, that's not good. I guess more in botany. Oh, that's medical storage. Personal quarters. Sweet AR data. Captured three months ago? What the? Just her listening to music. There are rats image life followers to point oh she's looking at social media. Image life. Apparently she's into Asians. Message with Odin. Unfortunately the inf uh, this was three months ago, keep in mind you guys. Unfortunately the information you have requested is defined as classified by Ventura, so I am unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. That's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. Wait a minute. Did Sarah try to get Nat to investigate something? And is that why Nat doesn't have access anymore? And the reason why Nat can't go into detail with Evie is because of this? That's why she's requesting access. Oh, that kind of sucks. And with Nat unable to monitor Odin, Odin might have went off the charts. Hopefully that's not the case. Uh, oh, this doesn't look good. Uh, message with Nat. No, on another facility. Ah, uh, like if she was malfunctioning or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about, I could try looking in VT's tech error ticket backlog for any hits. Okay, uh, Fountain of Paradise, medical AI, about three years ago. This does not look promising. It looks to be an, like an issue with the AI. Mega Day Odyssey to the Stars, Day 28, Spaceport City, Singapore. JJ Pratt. Oh, is she mourning off from someone who died around back then? Uh, 
to take my first ever trip up the space elevator to Fountain of Paradise tomorrow. The glitz, the glamour, the zero G, it's going to be incredible. All thanks to you, my loyal supporters. Yeah, this is sad. Uh, but first I spend a day in the hustle and bustle of Spaceport City, the lively jumble of improvised bungalows, grey market vendors, and of course, those famous Singaporean food stalls that surround the space elevator's spectacular base tower. One last egg a day before I left off from terra firma. Here we go! Kaya Tosa at Kaya Best uh, Kopi House. Uh, while Toast takes the center stage in this classic Singaporean street food's name, the real star of the show is, there, is the pair of perfectly runny half-boiled eggs drizzled with slather and more good egg and dipped liberally in the soft... Yeah, she's looking over the victim's social media, kind of mourning over it. It's finally times. Like, it could be a conspiracy where if they looked into it, Odin as an AI is designed to basically kill these people off thanks to Venturas. Hmm. Oh my, it way up. Never thought I'd see there from this height. And then dead. That was three months ago. Classified. Uh, she's trying to figure out what happened. Life and autobiography. Public control AI. The AI is in charge of all operations for Kirib C City Stage Fan and has lived for a long and storied span. Here she shares some of her techniques for gracefully navigating sentience and the demands of life, living a satisfying, socially meaningful life. And has been in operation for 60 continuous years, 34 of them for Kirib C City State. Fan invented this celebrated sea forming farming techniques that bear her name, placing her at the visionary forefront of the state of the art. She is also known for her strong belief in meditation, which many experts thought meaningless or impossible for AI. Fan has been anointed Dane Controller of Kuribas, but she has uh, elected to exclude this title from her name. Uh, where an AI becomes a very human. Let's get the flash. Uh, well, this is moisturizing, listen. Dog. Warrior two. The Propo side split. Scorpion pose. Down or dog. Hmm. Oh, so the deep waters in the heavens. Uh, that didn't help me much. It's like she's deep in her life. Oh, she has a sunroof. That's kind of cool. Let's 
like she was religious. Kind of deeply, kind of truly. Anxiety in the body. But she is a medical officer after all. Yeah, that seems to be all the data I can get. Medical storage, they're doing need in medical storage, exam facilities. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay, it should be 50% done. Botany. Three days ago. All right. They try. What do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me. Why is there a lock? Oh no, that's just her icon. Okay. Me too. Okay. We non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I I'll, can't um... Okay. Let's take a look at our desktop. We're doing all hands meeting right now. Sir Hasmati, standard practice is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry, 72 hours without risk. A brain damage past that? You're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Oh, so this... If I went to the botany first, and then the medical is what I saw later, because medical was two days ago, but 72 hours. 24, 48. Does that mean by the time I arrive, they're all dead? Natalie Kershko, uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep. And and I'd need to write up a serious layer of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside. It's going to be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on. Ch checking something. Uh, she is multitasking. Okay. Um, but what? This is a message uh, with Evie with Roberta Williams. But what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending ourselves down? In the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications, the bigger issue would be its lack of life support. Salvage from around Tacoma, we could rig up oxygen pressure, climb it, drone down to Luna, and get home from there. If we're not confident in VT making it up here, uh, before O2 runs out and we can't call for a pickup getting down to Luna is our only real hope okay sit tight good idea thanks Bert okay any other no that's the only one where do you want along with this I'll head downstairs and I didn't start expect him to either oh my so. god okay so now we actually have to build hey. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this I'll head downstairs and get started on Oh my Something. god. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Wanna talk? Yeah. Hold on, sure. Hey, are, are you okay? The rest of us. Hey, Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Wanna talk? Yeah. Sure. Hey, are, are you okay? Evie. Hey. No, nope, I'm not. Okay. Oh, there's a passcode? Okay. Evie. Nope, I'm not. Oh wait, no, no. Are you okay? Nope, I'm not. You okay? Nope. Zero two. Maybe I know the passcode with um. I can find out the passcode with um. With Evie. Yeah, that was the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie. Zero two nope, eight one. Zero. Two, eight, 
what? What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I... This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. I, okay, I know what I said. But I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. They, they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I, I don't know what to say. They do not need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not. I'm he eventually gonna, does. To be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Just give me a little time. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. <sighs> do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time? Oh, hey, Cuball. Welcome to stream. Thank you for doing it in again. I appreciate it. It's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this. The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Oh, crap. Now they have less air time in comparison please try not to be worried andrew <laughs> it's easy for you to say you don't have lungs so what do you think we should do standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives yeah you know people die in cryo right i know sometimes if uh <laughs> If we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. Okay, let's see. Uh, not failed? Message with Evie St. James. So I guess we should just carry on as normal? We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come pick us up right within 24 hours. Listen, just increase our oxygen supply in the short term if worse came to worse. Which it is because they're going to arrive in 72 hours. Um, or was it longer than... Longer than 24 hours. And of course she knows that and she can't really answer... Uh, message with Nat. Uh, this is Andrew and Nat. There's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew. All comms are routed through a secured VT laser array, and it's been destroyed, and the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. No, uh, Andrew's really worried. But then again, he has a son and family at home. Uh, from Mark Figuera. Uh, just checking in about your renewal. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months, and that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll, uh, I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure a, out a way to make it work. Yeah, because money. <sighs> you know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says... I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your solution? I'm building equity up here. 
My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's skull, but if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all of that. And I am not... Crap. Because, like, I saw it to work, but if he's dead, there's no point to it all. Don't ap I don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know really getting hard not to feel unappreciated. Listen, I'm sorry, I just... Connection lost, message unsent, attempting to resend, attempting... Oh, that hurts. At least he was able to get a sorry out, maybe? That's just sad. That's just sad. Hey, Alex, what is up? How are you doing? So, so also, uh, all things look to be uh, good to go for Fanime. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm just trying to wrap up some uh, travel arrangements with my travel agent. Otherwise, everything is pretty much prepaid and good to go. So, unless some hiccup um, happens last minute, hopefully not. So, let's hope. Please, hopefully not, please. Things are going like crappily right now, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm trying to make things work. So, uh, well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I. Hello. Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. Like, where does it even go? <laughs> Oxygen supply. Happy, not happy. Oh. Four days ago. It didn't make it. Algae population. Oxygen production. The oxygen production spiked, but obviously not enough. Three d days ago, it just dropped. And yesterday, it just dropped. Is it being smoky? Dude, man, smoking. <laughs> That's just dangerous. I'm on a space station, no less. What the heck is over there? I mean, isn't it strange? We've. Now, there's a lot I'll head going downstairs on. and get started on. Oh, my something. God. Okay. And now we actually have to build. Hey, people, break! I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs and get I started. Think into I oh my something. god! Okay. And now we actually have to build. Hey, this Andrew. Thing. Clive. Andrew. Want to talk? Yeah. Sure. Evie. Evie, are are you okay? Evie. Hey, Evie. Hey. Um, I know you're all like gung ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like. 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but... Oh, she's afraid of going into cryo. Every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> right of your life. Hey, Ma, I'm trying to stay positive. I didn't think things would end like this. 
Oh, relaxation sounds. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could VT's not fucking coming. Come oh, on. Oh wow. VT's not fucking coming. She knows. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clyde. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time... It does make sense because of the liability, right? Like, they could be sued, especially if it's found out there's a pro problem with the AI. Right? So and maybe that's why they're trying to cover it up. It just doesn't it's kind of despicable and evil in a sense, but it it's not going to make dollars and it's not making sense if you're not saving people. Like, if these people are dead, I'm going to be honestly pissed. Because what does that make me as a subcontractor trying to even recover data, right? So. so you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that... Evie. Aw. I don't want to be realistic with you. Aww. 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 Well, time to go make final preparations then. Aww. <laughs> They were for not too finally. Not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Lead the way. Oh, they're already gone. Hello? But then again, maybe his single thing could have maybe saved them all. I'm not sure. Let's rewind here. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never... This is an awesome game. I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Just give me a little time. Okay. Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind. This is why she's meditating. Rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. She's having an anxiety attack. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet. 
Oh wow. Departed with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> Oh man, I just... Oh, that's too real for me. Hey, there's chicken! There's fish! There's cow! Apparently, not a lot of people like beef. But there's twice as much beef! That's always good. I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me, is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be alright? I think so. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Oh, wow. Talk about a fighter. Just has a panic attack and was like, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get it done. Hey, this is Andrew's office. Aww. And so oh, it's not cup. <laughs> it's noodles. Okay, let's take a look at his AR. Congratulations, mature belt property owner of your contractor in good sounding Degyab. Uh, this message confirms completion of your requested currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at a value of Sessa and applied to your Venturis belt employee investment plan pre registration fee. You are now the proud owner of Orbital Bungalow in the Venturis belt. When facilities become operational later in 2088, you will make money every time a passenger rents out your orbital bungalow. Congratulations on this wise investment and welcome to Venturis family. So the loyalty uh, that he had, he converted it to 154,000 knowing that he could die and then invested it into property. This so when he was like, no, I gotta work here. Just gotta, just gotta wait. Uh, maybe I might renew because uh, I'll develop loyalty, and then we could, and then we're set, right? But knowing that he's obviously likely to die, uh, he withdrew it and then invested it. At least he's thinking about the future. Like if your parents are not thinking about the future. I, I can strongly encourage and to speak from experience that your life will be so screwed beyond repair uh, that if you are able to repair your off you're still gonna come out of it pretty dang damaged not gonna lie um, but you're just I don't know just uh, you're just you're, you'll 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 be fine as best as you can be fine but um, it doesn't make up for the time that's going to be spent trying to fix things so that's why it's always good to like make the best decisions that put others in a better place because no one deserves to kind of go through that uh to all station crew beautiful orchids hi everyone my orchids am i even saying that right have been growing gloriously in botany this winter and they're ready to be propagated if anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk let me know they do take a bit of care but i'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions please write back if you like one Looks like he obviously knows the stuff. This is his office. Uh, calendar official. I request an official corporate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year, memorializing the Tibetan genocide of 2052. Uh, my family and thousands of others were indelibly sundered in this horrific ethnic cleansing event. 
My parents and I escaped Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, like so many others, was not so lucky. Her memory spurs me to make this request once more. Days of memorial like this one are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and traditions lost in this terrible event are... You know when it gets too real and you just you, you just kind of talk about it, you know, just... Okay, well, let's see Nat's side of the story. Uh, let's look for the break. I still gotta get that passcode from earlier. Time is oxygen, people. Break! I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head Art, I didn't expect him to either. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build this thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. You okay? Evie! Hey, Evie! Hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out in every <laughs> math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 70. The rest of us... <laughs> Good, Evie. You just wait. She's actually happy and positive life. about something. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. Are you serious? I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops. Should be done. I want to quickly go back to oh man are you serious I need to get that code okay well I guess I have to get my tab first Subcontractor Farrier, uh, proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Yeah, but what about the people? I need to... If I have access to Cryo, I want to check that first. also check out the previous modules find out um, find out what I missed in regards to that code for uh, EB's station uh, the first part earlier Ooh, I'm getting nauseated yeah if anything I, I know this is game but I'm worried if I check out cryogenics access is denied what do you mean access is denied? Uh, personnel... Biomedical, cryogenics, engineering... Uh, where did I go to first? This way to the Tacoma Dome. Those are friends. Like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that, and then there's this. 
Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah. Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. Oh, the one does never cease. Invested into that, so. Oh, got some love up in here. Thank you, Devon, for the love. Much appreciate. Okay, let's see here. Warfare, no! I thought we were gonna play some Apex. Yearly reports have been Okay, let's oh, see that cool. code. One two two eight. One two two eight. Let's take a look at that workstation. Another ad. Status alert. The following orbital conditions warning is in effect. Uh, the station's orbit will coincide with a field of increased asteroid activity and orbital debris. Oh man, it definitely was an accident. I don't think it was an issue on Odin's side. Well, there goes the conspiracy theory, but still, it's an unfortunate passing of events. Like, honestly. Impact preparedness level will be increased from green to yellow during this time. Crew should continue with normal operations, but... Uh, from Ventura's operational logistics message, Station Administrator, uh, uh, Station Administrator St. James, upon review... Uh, sorry, that light kind of scared me. Uh, your request for network specialist access to the Odin's unit operational hardware has been uh, summarily denied. We refer you to corporate uh, regulation article blah, 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 uh, which clearly restricts all access to AI hardware f from contacting... Uh, from contracting crew. As this is the third time a request of this nature has been made by Tacoma under your supervision, your contractor dossier has been marked with an additional disciplinary flag tolling two on your account. Uh, please remember that one more disciplinary flag will trigger an overall contractor viability review. So it goes to show that she was trying, definitely for sure. This worker is hereby certified for orbital postings uh, of up to 24 consecutive months. Aww. How come there's no soothing radio? She's like, what? What the fudge? What? Open drawer. Huh. Maybe someone that died in another accident. Wait, so there's no oxygen on the station except what we're breathing right now? Correct. Additionally... How long does that give us? We should have about 48 hours of breathable air. Oh. Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. Three days ago, 48 hours. It's been 72 hours. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys? 
but you can't because you can't communicate with them. It might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply. Actions have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? Oh man, that just that just sucks. Wasn't operations good? Oh, okay. Those, uh. Workout room. Gym. Cargo. See, am I bad for, like, checking out everything? I'm just one of those types of gamers who, you know. Um, appreciates and tries to experience everything that there ha that there could be given to a game, you know, that a game has to give. Speaking of which, uh, right now it's 11:52. Start around 10ish. It's an hour and 52 minutes in. Okay. Okay, so. One module to add to head to next observation. Nope, that's observation. Yeah. Personnel. Biomedical. Cryogenics, which I don't have access to. I guess this is the last part. Unless I missed something. Hopefully not. And these ads. I can't access anything without uh, putting my tab in place. Mechanical engineering to go go. When, no, when in doubt, no, always go right. Always choose the right. Uh, operational moonshot stats board. In cryo, in cryo, not manual control software ready, installing into drone, in cryo, BERT drone, life support, manual control hardware ready, powering up drone. Uh, Sarah, standing by as medical support for cryo procedures, Odin, doing AI stuff. <laughs> doing AI stuff? Margaret Catwood? Probably sleeping somewhere. Who the frick is Margaret Catwood? Oh, by not. Okay, let's get some data. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scans, that was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Crimes and facilities active. Three, six cryopods occupied. Nat's in there, but Nat is at risk, though. How come you didn't... Oversight console regarding... I write to inform you of my mindset in the case that this crew does not survive the incident aboard Tacoma. I am fully aware that crew member Krush uh, Kuroshenko's medical scans indicate her chances of survival once subjected to cryogenic stasis are minimal. However, 
more humane for Miss Kurushenko to expire peacefully in cryosleep than to asphyxiate on a dead station. You don't have that right, though. She has the right to make the choice for herself. Like, uh, information is ammunition. Like, if you have ammunition, you have the ability to do something, right? Like, oh my gosh. I don't know. I, f I feel like she made the wrong choice in that matter. Know that this was my own decision, made of sound mind, and that I take all responsibility for better or worse. Ah. <sighs> Like, I know you have good intent, but D-bag move, in my opinion. Oxygen supply 20 hours, 18 hours ago. Oh my gosh. Andrew, thank you. Hey, Sarah. Uh, hi, Sarah. You s said to take my time and let you know when I'm ready to go into cryo, but I'm ready now. If I'm doing this thing, it doesn't make sense to waste any more oxygen dragging my feet. I sent out a message to everyone who's left awake, but I just wanted to thank you for your patience and guidance and your discretion when I wasn't sure about things. I know lots of people in your shoes would have said, F this guy, I don't have time for this, and succeed the station admin or on uh, and sick the station admin on me etc but I really appreciate your caring even if I know that really I was trying to fight the inevitable but I guess maybe that's what we're all going uh, I guess we'll uh, what we're all going doing uh, I guess we'll see uh, thanks for being my friend I'm headed to cryo now see you there man my reading skill sucks uh, uh, to sleep perchance to dream a there's the rub for that Sleep of death that dreams may come. No, please don't be dead, you guys. Okay, and that's the thing with Andrew. Oh my gosh. Like, you should have told Nat. Natalie Christian. Sarah Burt is making fun of me because uh, my parents were hippies and never got my gene filtered before I was born. Oh, that's why she has low ad. Uh, low chances. I'm sorry, Nat. Lots of parents don't get their children gene filtered. It's kind of like, you know, vaccines. vaccines. Sometimes for religious reasons, sometimes because they're hippies. How's work going on the drone? Sorry, Doc. Really focused on this, Bert. Uh, making fun of me thing right now. When's the last time you slept? Uh, that's besides the point. Should have told her, man. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that Standard Venturous Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? As to Coma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... What the fudge? Oh no. Sarah, there is a biosuppression device... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. Help Suppression device. Help wall of the drone bay, please. Wall of the drone bay, please. Help wall of the drone bay, please. Nice, she's running fast. The drone bay, please. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh my god. And that's okay? obviously going to use way more oxygen. No. <laughs> Network technician interface. Auto drone navigation software ventures OS Lithia. Software update requested. Technician override required. Accepted. Updating auto drone navigation software. Navigation software update. You got hacked by Nat the Brat 2088. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Initializing auto drone software system. Warning system initial. Initial initialization failure system offline. Please notify the facility network specialist. Oh, there was a fuel explosion. That is not good. Can you feel your feet, your hands. Ew. Ow. My hip just hurts. Oh my gosh.
That's where her hip hit. No, 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 no. Bart! Bart! One, two, three. Bart, can you hear me? One, two, three. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Space drama. Holy crap. What will you do now? Oh, everything's corrupted. My head hurts. Oh, yeah. Or in or injured. Drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time. Auto drone docked in service bay. Warning mechanical malfunction. Electrical failure. Drone misaligned with service lift. Warning. Please notify facility mechanical engineer Roberta Williams. To get over the shock, but. Did not. No, it did not. Of course, the data is corrupted at this point. <laughs> what will you do now? Isn't it obvious? There's no way this thing is going to fly. Then tell me what you are going to do. Oh my God, Odin. Or in that are injured. The drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do, but I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew, and it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Oh, maybe he's trying to help out the crew. Sim what to do but I am because Odin likes Sarah Sarah so. please listen carefully I am not telling you what to do but I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew and it is true that you could before proceeding to cryo in oh a lie NGL door. Odin scares me oh you telling I know right Oli? oh my goodness oh my goodness so restream but bot YouTube Oligl Odin scares me. Oh, restream bot YouTube. Oli also hi. Oh, hey. Oli also hi. Thanks. So much appreciate. Um, just give me a moment here. I, that's awesome. I just don't like how like restream bot kind of doubles up sometimes. I I gotta try and fix that because I tried fixing the because uh, uh, Facebook chat wasn't coming up on restream, so I tried to fix that last night. And that's why I only got two hours of sleep. Um, but I think it's working now, but now it's has an, it has this doubling effect. But yeah, it's crazy. This game is pretty good. It's like a three to four hour game. Hopefully I'll finish it tonight. But I think after seeing this, Odin's trying to... Uh, is actually good. So I don't think the station AI, um, after uh, researching, investigating, and finding clues, I don't think the station AI uh, set up the crew to die, I think. And hopefully the crew's still alive. I think 
the station AI knows what's going on based on like Venturis's corporate, because they're the ones who like kind of own the station and whatnot, uh, corporate secrets, and it is trying to give Sarah uh, the station's medic, because um, he can't tell them because he's based on AI, but he's suggesting it's like because of their free agency of choice that uh, she could look into why it's inaccessible in regards to the AI and find out more hidden information uh, that could maybe help Sarah do what's right. So, because so far in the story, Sarah's done wrong by not telling Nat that if Nat goes into cryo, she has a very low survival risk. So shame on you, Sarah, but she's doing it out of kindness, so that way it's easier for Nat to go into cryo and also for her to die peacefully in her sleep versus die uh, versus dying of asphyxiation and like, uh, of course now explosion um, by working on this uh, makeshift uh, lifeboat that is a service drone uh, turned into a human carrier device, which obviously failed as you can tell. So, But yeah, originally I thought at first that Odin was like, oh man, the station AI has gone corrupt, it's killing everyone, but no, it's apparently there's a deeper conspiracy at hand. So yeah, although Odin also, yeah, true, does scare me. But yeah, hi. Come <laughs> here, Odin. I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. And also, Odin is totally favoring uh, Sarah. I think he has a thing for Sarah. So, because uh, as I read somewhere in the game that, like, these AI, there's an AI that's been, like, alive for 34 or 64 years or whatever, and it's one of the best succeeding AIs. So, and Odin's pretty young, in my opinion, or from what I understand. So, they have the capacity, the ability to pretty much think as human, but with superpower skills of trying, like, if I could think of something, it's automatically done. That's awesome. Hey, Andrew, what is up? So, um, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully, you're enjoying your night. Hopefully, you're enjoying the stream. Let me know, and uh, let me know how you're doing. So, yeah, and if you also want to support, uh, by the way, this is a good time to go into the shoutouts for days. My apologies that I didn't go into that. Uh, I'll do it again at the end. Um, so, I, yeah, I just want to thank uh, everyone who's uh, helped and support so far, if you can. And for anyone who's watching, uh, if you haven't already, uh, please like uh, and uh, sub and follow um, uh, my following social medias at uh, twitch.com, uh, twitch.tv uh, forward slash DJ Music Studio, same with twitter.com forward slash DJ Music Studio, and Periscope, which is Twitter streaming uh, platform, uh, PSCP tv forward slash dj music studio and if you'd like I, I i don't really do the instagrams as much i would like to but my phone is crap so but hopefully eventually maybe uh so instagram.com for slash dj music studio and of course uh on mixer.com and facebook.com it's forward slash the dj music studio and youtube.com for slash user for slash the dj music studio if you guys could kindly like follow subscribe there i'd really greatly appreciate it and also if you want to join uh, the stream and just chat along. I do have a discord so check it out a uh, link is in the description below or uh, to the side depending on which platform you're watching on so otherwise yeah and I'd love to discuss and uh, chat uh, hang out catch up and talk more about Tacoma the game that we're playing uh, also in regards to the shout outs uh, for domo days we have uh, much love thanks to uh, Devon and Becca. Thank you for loving the past stream and thank you for liking the past stream I think I got like the most likes in a while thanks to the past stream. So thank you so much uh, Ferry, uh, Mike, Dorian, uh, Manswing, uh, Gabriel uh, and also Gabriel thank you so much for your continued support I I've seen a lot of your support as of late. So I just want a uh, quick shout out to you um, Extra shout out to you. Also, uh, thank you so much uh, to Mike aka Chiefy for commenting. I really appreciate that. Uh, you can check them out at twitch.tv forward slash Chiefy. Uh, if you guys can, uh, follow and like and subscribe them there. I uh, would really appreciate the support um, there as well. And thank you so much to Sean, Peter, Alexei, David, um, Ron, Matt, Albert, uh, Devon, Becca, Skylar, Cubal, uh, Mike, uh, John, Ferry, Austin, uh, Dana, and Elijah for uh, joining me in the past stream, uh, yesterday's stream, really appreciate your support as well. And once again, uh, shout out to Uli and Warfury for commenting on uh, YouTube last time. Uh, much thanks, much thanks. And also thank you so much uh, Liquid Snake for playing with me and commenting on Mixer yesterday playing Smash Bros. Really appreciate the fun times we had there and thank you so much, I really appreciate you. You rock. Uh, speaking of rocking out, if you want to donate to the stream and uh, put a notification up with some appreciating words and message, 
I do have a donation link streamlabs.com per slash DJ Music Studio. And if you don't uh, want to do that and want to donate uh, in secret, I do have a PayPal a link at paypal.me for slash DJ Music Studio. And also, if you're considering on streaming yourself, I do have some referral links. So if you want to get set up easily uh, and use the same software I use, uh, I have a Streamlabs link and also a Restream link. Uh, where you can sign up there so that way you can set yourself up on multi-streaming on multiple platforms So and then get your voice heard and all that and be out there all over the interwebs <laughs> uh, Also, uh, if you want to sh show some additional support um, I have a humble bundle link uh, that you can purchase a humble bundle monthly at so you can check it out there uh, and also if you want to uh, further support and love meated snacks uh, you can get some Savage Jerky and courtesy of me get a 15% off discount via the uh, loyalty royalty uh, Referral link at the bottom of the description so much appreciate thank you so much that is the domo days I think I might stick with that so but yeah uh, speaking of domo I'm just gonna quickly Head over here because this might be lost to the edge of time uh, and see if, uh, if I can copy this thanks because uh, I always try to like think and appreciate everyone here. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, a lot of people are showing up. So it's of course not a lot in comparison, but still, it's just I know it's. Oh, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much. You rock. Thank you so much, Becca. Special shout out to Becca as well because um, she's one of my. Um, fans ever since the beginning like I'm not a big streamer I'm just I'm just doing this out of the kindness of my heart and my availability and time and support and um, she's kind of been here since the very beginning so I really appreciate you Becca thank you so much I, I always look forward to you loving my stream and even more so um, I'm always worried and concerned if you don't love it I'm like what's going on is everything okay in her life did something happen I'm concerned and worried so it always makes me want to catch up so my apologies for not being able to message back I've just been so busy so I feel bad like people message me like I think the longest I wasn't able to reply back I still replied back though just it took forever uh, was like over a year I think uh, and we're joking about it that it was like two years maybe it was two years but I try so speaking of trying I got once again happy birthday to Jake one of my greatest friends I know it's like two three weeks old I keep forgetting it well I wouldn't say keep forgetting it. I always remember it's just not at the uh, opportune time and then by the time I do remember I'm not at a computer so um, except past two times I remembered on stream so happy belated birthday to everyone I, I try to say happy birthday everyone it's just there's never enough time in the day so um, but yeah, hopefully I get some decent sleep and maybe I can try and catch up and do that tomorrow. So, otherwise, yeah. Um, and also, oh, I know one of my friends, Katie, had a birthday yesterday and apparently she got proposed to. So congrats to her. Kudos. I'm so happy for you. You, oh, girl, yeah, congrats. So, but anyways, uh, let's further on with the story here, shall we? Nothing more. Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here. They should not. Nat, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. That fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, uh, uh here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking, you'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here, here's the technical access code. Okay. It's all right, sir. Nine. You don't let her go to sleep, and you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. Okay. And then there's a lot of corruption. Okay, so yeah, thank you for joining, Becca. Uh, so let's find out. I'm gonna access her AR module if it'll let me. Oh, she. <laughs> you can see her putting it on. Okay, so okay, let's recover some of this data. 
This is with Odin, uh, complete revision 3.7.18 of the manual drone navigation control software based upon your specifications and 92.8% chance of successfully integrating with the drone's existing systems with no further complications. That'll have to do. You got it ready to slot? Yes, I have loaded the code package into the manual transfer injector dongle and thanks mate. We'll come grab it and be on our way. On my way. Okay. Uh, emergency in effect. Okay, let's close that. Uh, all crew, good night. Uh, to die, to sleep, no more, and by uh, sleep to say we end. The heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. To sleep, perchance to dream. I am off to sleep for now and will wish for pleasant dreams. Dreams of the success I'm sure will, you will bring us. Not Bird and Sarah, I wish there were more I could do. But for now, good luck. Aw. Well, he's certainly a poet. Station message with Roberta Williams. But it's so irresponsible. My parents loved me. They were just hippies. It's normal. I'm going to ask Sarah. She said it's normal and you have to stop making fun of me. When's the last time you slept? Why do people keep asking me that? <laughs> Aw. No, oh, that's gonna be corrupted into it. Nah, I'm good. I'm hooked in. Gonna test the connection. Okay, great. Oh, by the way, how was um, Uli? How was your? Uh, did you do your um, your uh, one hour challenge? Restream bot, YouTube. Oli, haha, ha, no, we haven't done it How's yet. Oli, haha, ha, no, we haven't done it yet. Aww, darn all. Hopefully, I can join in the next one. Like, things aren't looking too great for me, but uh, so far, I am making progress music wise. I was actually thinking for my one hour challenge, um, I was thinking of actually just tuning some lyrics to some of your guys' work. Because I really love your work, and like. Oli, <laughs> we're pretty inconsistent about that. Hey, at least that it, as restream long as you're bot, putting time in. YouTube. Oli, we're pretty inconsistent about that. Oh my goodness, restream bot. I'm gonna have to fix you. So, um, but um, yeah, cause that doubling. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, I'm actually I'm gonna see if I can fix that right now. Cause it's showing this, or cause I do have um, there's a different version of restream bot I could implement. This is just an older version. Um, let's see here. Notifications. Read nicknames. Read messages using text to speech. Read interval incident. Zero. Uh, police notify. Uh, notify about new message. Uh, why is it doubling like that though? Is there a way I can not enable the doubling? Enable transparency, use GPU, show in taskbar, click through mode, filters, counts, bed chat and stream, bot, enable bot, web server, export. Like, this is fine. I think I just need to install another version of um, uh, my restream chat here to notify me. Because I have two types. Uh, this is the older version, which I find more reliable. But the newer version, I think they updated now, where it's now including all the old stuff. So I think I might install that now. Because it's I'm looking at my tablet. It's looking fine. So Because it's showing up the uh, the Facebook stuff now, which is great. Um, okay, I'll just have to make you. So uh, my apologies, uh, stream, if it's doubling and you have to hear a message twice. But that's a good thing, because then you guys get to receive twice as twice as much recognition. So, but yeah, um, yeah, for my one hour challenge, I'm thinking of just like, if it's okay with you guys, just taking your songs and just making some lyrics to it. I know, because I find your stuff inspirational. So it doesn't matter if you're inconsistent. It's the, the fact of the matter that you're putting some time in, which I really appreciate. And I should put some time, too, in regards to my work as well. Because I'm really hyped that I got Miku working. So, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, please do. Okay, awesome. Restream bot, YouTube. Yeah. OLI, yeah, please do. Yeah, my bad that I, um, um, my bad that, um, my bad for the doubling. So, yeah, my bad for like, I guess, long, I wouldn't say long run, but, uh, the spiel there so but I, I really admire you guys and you guys make some pretty kick butt stuff from what i've been able to hear in my downtime i haven't heard all of it but from what i've quickly kind of like scrubbed through because that's the thing as a dj my job is to listen upon thousands of songs and to filter through and grab uh what is the best right and uh based on my technical ear what i've heard is like dang you guys like i can use this stuff so and that's coming from DJ. So if, if a DJ could use it, that's high praise. So. <sighs> Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. <sighs> oh. Hit it. Ready to rock. Okay, let's go. For oh, still scaring the crap out of me. Also, this game has a cool feature where I can go forward and back in time. Okay, let's go from the very beginning. Uh. Go from the very beginning. Uh, uh, I'll catch up with you. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scans, that was to avoid causing her undue stress. Yeah, because, you know, it's not like... Because anxiety uh, attacks suck. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to... I just realized this is a PC game. I could get my viewers to play this instead of me. So yeah, if you guys want to play this game, I am not even kidding. I will have you, I'll let you guys, well, we're probably at the end of the game, but for next time, if it's a PC game, I will literally have you guys play the game. Because uh, I remote access my system, so if I can remote access it, why can't you guys remote access it, right? So. You gonna need any help with that power cell hookup? Okay, great. This will only take a minute. Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. Oh, I guess. And this off. Tilted. Tilted! Oh my. She ran fast. Uh, As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Uh, what the heck? Why is that still showing? Just give me a moment here. I'm just gonna minimize this. Or I can just turn off text to speech, actually. Sarah, there is a biosuppression device without the drone. Without the drone. Without the drone, babe. Hit it. Uh. It's like she knew. And she died temporarily. Oh my god. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew. My... One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. Oh wow. 
Holy crap. What will you do now? My head hurts. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the back. Oh, baby. Ow. Oh, that's oh. not good. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> the smoke. <coughs> smoke? I... I can't. I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay. That's not it's good. Okay. That's I'm sure not good. Just, I can't. I can't smell the smoke. Nah, nah, do I have brain damage? Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here together. And that's the important thing. At least you're not dead, man. At least you're not dead. That's what matters. Matt, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. Look, that fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. 0809. Okay. Hopefully I don't forget that. I'm probably You am. don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her... move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. Oh, I already forgot. 0809? Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, I guess I'll check it out. Because I don't want to trigger a vent and lose access to the other areas, right? So... What the heck is up there? It's captured seven months ago. What the heck? I thought this place was inaccessible. Ah, she's a she's a mess. What happy? This was captured like four or some months ago, so. Fudge, I triggered an event. Subcontract for special access has been granted to the station's AI physical processing compartment in the network technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per as specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. Oh boy. Um Can I save? Save and quit. Ugh, scary as fudge. Exit? Always make sure that there is an exit plan. Okay. So yeah, I would have been able to go this way either way. Maintenance. Come.
kind of like the back door route. Oh yeah, that's right underneath. I kind of like love these parts of the game where like exploration you can find different routes and whatnot. Maintenance is right on me. Hundred percent. Storage only. I guess Nat put up these signs. Storage only. If you're looking for Nat, check our bungalow over in Mechanical. What the frick is this? Cat food? Okay. I guess you basically turn this place into storage. Is that beer and food? <laughs> yeah, this is totally turned into storage. Oh, there's a hat. Hat. Put a hat on a pumpkin. Yeah, they totally turned this into storage. What's this? Oh. I want drinks on this. Yeah, they totally turned this into storage. Yeah, Asian foods. <laughs> oh yeah, I already... Said, um... If you're only looking for now, check our bungalow over in Mech. Mech? Office. Welcome. Caution. AI condition being in progress. Okay, let's recover some data. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello. I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Wait, oh, a year ago. Okay, um, message with Odin? Ha, huh, sure, let's start there. I am Obsidian Class AI Branch in continuous operation for 180... Oh, wow, he's old, actually. I was wrong. Fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Now continue with detailed technical de specifications. Okay, mate, listen, ha... Huh? What's your uh, Capra's score for independence? 4.68. All right, we're going to work on getting that number up, you and me. Oh, she was like very eager. Falker, welcome to Como Crew. It's been a whirlwind couple of days of onboarding and loading out, and I know most of us are still adjusting to life in orbit, but I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin, our AI. Um, a little background on myself. I come from... An aerospace manufacturing family, one of my sister's first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth in Cascadia FN, was helping build pieces of this very station. Aw, we're floating slash uh, walking around in right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities, and I've been really looking forward to getting to know you all over the coming year. Or need to pass anything along to Venturis Brass? Just let me know. Here's to a successful posting. Okay, off station message with Cluey Dog. Uh, very austere. I mean, corporate modern shake. What do you expect? And how's your new best friend? What's its name again? Odin, his name. And I mean, he's fine so far for an AI. Kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up here on Tanjay's, you know. It's all the uh, AI LF talks about. I'll believe that when I see it. Now oh, that's corrupted data. Okay. AI cognitive development tracking. I will touch that after I. Actually, let's take. Well, Nat, you messy pig. Although she, apparently she's super smart and she draws. Are you serious? Okay, uh... 
That's her ID. Email. From Ventura's operational logistics message. This month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company uh, rectives, uh, directives. Excuse me. There we go. I've additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his caprice ratings and creative and per, uh, permanence, which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term, which you would know if you read the report I submitted as of six months ago. Wow, she, she's a nasty little bugger. But then again, I guess if you're, you're a free spirit, pretty much. Um, I, literally free. Um, which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, you know what? I've never gotten a response on any of these. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit if I don't turn one in every month, but are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, you guys. Also, Odin's gone crazy and is massacring the crew. The station is full of mutants. Help. Sincerely, Network Technology Wonder Kind and all around great person Nadia Kurashenko. Ah, right, well, she's full of herself. Let's see here. A uh, message with Sarah. Hey Sarah, you're going to want to see this. I asked Odin to search up some stuff in the Venturas Technician Records database based on what you were asking about and Venturas Orbital Technician Support Ticket. Out in the Paradise AI Mate. Standard automated battery of judgment tests for uh, Med AI HECA has returned declining. Judgment scores last four weeks. This week's is especially low. Still technically within acceptable range as of 0803 test results, but staff reports a personality shift seeming distant. Have we had an AI conditioner up lately? Can we elevate an AI assessment squad ASAP? Thing 4 HQ response AI examine account. You're on your final support ticket allotment for another. This is show you. Are you sure you want to use this? Uh, on a paradise AI main. No, that's fine. Please close. We'll reopen if results enter critical stage. Confidential. On a paradise. AI data for distribution. So they knew that it was taking a dip. But because it was its final ticket. They didn't want to lose it in case of extreme emergency, so they saved and held on to it just in case. And it just tanked. And then the September incident happened. And then it was fine afterwards. But that's when I believe everyone died. Like the report shows something was wrong. Illuminati confirmed. Okay. Same here, mate. Hey, what a messy pig. Okay, so Cave, Odin, Loki, Heka. Well, these are the AIs. Little fan, fan was like one of the best AIs, you know, as I read from a book that she made, or I think, from Sarah. Manu, Je, Heka, Loki. Oh, and this is what their stations. So Italian HQ, City State, Predictive, Dubai Financial, Singaporean HQ. Town of Paradise Medical, Orbital, Orbital Casino, Odin, Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, Zenith Lunar Resort. Aww. So, uh, Roberta, so Bert and Nat are actually ma married. Congrats on Bert. 0809 Pond of Paradise Spaceport. Well, 
What the heck is going on right now? Hey there, um, Nat, please. Hello, I am Odin. Forward to working together. Same here, mate. And then nothing happens for the next bit? Is data corrupted? We'll just gotta be patient and listen through this just in case not to miss anything. They basically just listen to music or what? basically it. Oh, there's more data. Aged Reaper, yo saws I'm late. Yo, no worries. Oh, hey, then. thanks for okay. stopping in. I still appreciate it though. You rock. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream so far. Did you catch most of it? If not, it's available, thank goodness, to YouTube to replay for. So that is the location. Restream bot, YouTube. Aged Reaper, yo saws I'm late. Oh yeah, and my bad. Apparently, uh, chatbot has this thing where it's doubling up, so my apologies if that's annoying. But I kind of like it, uh, text-to-speech, so that way I can hear about it. Um, that way I can hear about it and focus on game. It's like as if someone's talking to me. Tenure adventurers, corporate employees only beyond this point. Contractors face severe penalties for trespassing. I'm a contractor, but then again, I am paid and... Um, tasked to retrieve Odin. Uh, just give me a moment here. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna open this up here, this module. Aged Reaper, how long you going for? I'm going for until, um, because I think I'm... I start at around 10-ish. So, uh, I end at 2 o'clock. Um, my goal is basically just to finish this. So, and then I'm gonna call it a night, because I need to get Restream more Restream bot, YouTube. Aged Reaper, how long you going for? Uh, and Odin, according to the charts, he's doing great. Or she, or it. So, like, look at these charts compared to the failed chart on here for, um, Peta. I'll show you. Like, bam, just tanked, hecka. But Odin's doing okay. So... So based on our investigation, it appears that Odin is in good, sound AI mind, and he's actually not corrupt and not leading the crew to death. But there's still a mystery to be solved, and we'll find that out now, I guess. I'm just wondering if oh, I can't jump. Is there anything else down here, though, that I missed? Support network. Uh, special Aged stuff. Reaper, when you finish, I'll start. Restream bot, YouTube, Aged Reaper when you finish I'll start. Oh, okay, so, as in start your own stream? Oh, cool. So I guess you're enjoying this so far. So we're just at the end of Tacoma. It's a free game uh, on PC, so if you haven't picked it up already, uh, the link should be on my Facebook page. Otherwise, I think this is the last 24 hours to get it. I think there's only a few hours left, but if you have a PC or access to a PC, or even a mobile device, I recommend if you don't have a Humble Bundle account, 
already uh, signed up for one and then uh, click, um, go to its page, uh, search up Find Tacoma and uh, basically add it to your library for free while it's still free. Otherwise, the game is normally 26 bucks. You're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Ventura's regulations forbid contracting H. Reaper, I was directly. live earlier but I just decided to play Minecraft and was going to continue it soon. Oh, uh, okay. Restream bot, YouTube. Aged Reaper, I was live earlier but I just decided to play Minecraft and was going to continue it soon. Yeah, what the heck? Why is this thing open already? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? Oh, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. There? No, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Ventura's regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to the Aged AI Reaper, hardware. I'm going goodbye. But yeah, no worries. Hey, thanks for uh, tuning in though. I really appreciate it. Much thanks for your support, man. As always, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm just... Mission parameters, permission override, access granted, subcontractor, Amy Ferrier, please proceed. So what the heck? Restream bot, YouTube, aged reaper, I'm going goodbye. Careful. What the heck? I'm going in. Okay, I'm just... Be careful. Wait, this was 12 hours ago, and they're not in cryo. Crap. Hopefully they're okay. Please be okay. Please okay. Please don't be scary. Please don't be scary. I hate... Oh, I, I, the H word is too strong a word. I retract that. Um, please do not... I dislike scary things. Uh, oh, it's probably a freaking jump scare. It's, oh my gosh. Oh my god. It doesn't help that it's making scary music. Where's the lights? What the hell is over there? What the hell is over there? What is this? It's probably less scary. Is this a freaking brain? It's probably less scary with the talking people. I know I'm on my own alone, but it's it's comforting me right now. What is all this? gonna flash on to scare the crap out of me. Brains ever. Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Fourteen hours ago. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> Wait, what? Yes. What's up? Yes. We're all recording Tacoma disaster statement not to be released before. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives what the fudge are you serious they already pronounced them dead no way no way please be alive and all of us i hope this blows up to them who rely on the orbital economy tragically due to human error on the part of the crew b s b s venturous rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. That is BS. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. That is BS. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. That is BS. You are fabricating a story, you corporate scumbag. You yeah. can tell I'm invested in this video game. Venturus, say no more. 
the partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. That's BS, according to, he but HECA, you saw the reports on HECA, you guys. You saw the report in, on AI HECA. She, she tanked because of crap like this. And now they're trying to push this stupid political propaganda on sacrificing six human lives just to, just to fabricate a lie to the public in order to get what they want. That's, that's sick. You, you, you sacrifice six human lives just to get what you want. It's not like I've seen this before in real life. <laughs> so, um, that is corporate B. That's, that is evil. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. That's... There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what? Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was mine. What a BS actor. What a... Oh my gosh. Legal data access by crew member. I secure communications record. New top tier AI directives transmitted overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks. Disable all external communications channels accessible by crew. Fabricate data showing that oxygen comms outage were caused by meter. Bert ha probably has permanent brain damage thanks to. This conspiracy, this ensure crew members cryogenic status ASAP as per SOP. AL shall not contravene any aspect of the above directives. Provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. These are your orders. Effective immediately. Off station message with I handler. Will this not endanger the lives of Tacoma's crew? No, a rescue craft will be dispatched to retrieve them once they are in cryo. Proceed with the above directives without exception. We will be monitoring your actions via secure comms connection directly to Odin and unit cognitive... Se you committed murder, you sick buttholes! You committed... Communications record off station message was confidential. Tacoma rescue craft launch scheduled T minus. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Off station message with confidential. Tacoma rescue craft launch canceled. Canceled. Relaunch schedule for relaunch unscheduled. The rescue craft departure has been initially intentionally canceled. Yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cryo sleep overexposure within 12 hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this issue again. No way. No way. No way. Internal report. Venturis Belt Legalization Strategy. This conspiracy, this is mess. Prepared especially for Sergio Venturi by Venturis Corporate Strategic AI Juno. Following the failure of the Venturis backed Orbital Worker Safety Bill in OCEP Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repealed. Without a repeal, Venturis Belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OCEP Congress votes. No way, they got an AI to simulate the best method of controlling the masses to perpetuate their planned agenda. Simulated world events include a pr 
precipitous decline of the orbital market. An extended strike by orbital workers union members, the assassination of OCEP members opposed to the HOA, and more none of these definite motivated uh, repeal of the HOA in simulations. So they were going to lose their jobs. So that and so they knew the market was going in a downward trend. So th that's why they fabricated this conspiracy to kill people in order to get what they want in the public's eye without the public even knowing. However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to accident, not caused by negligence. I calculate a 94% likelihood of the Accord being repealed within three months following this incident. This would allow Venturis belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of Venturis stock decline. They did it for the money! Stock decline resulting in a record stock price within one year of the Venturis belt beginning operation. They killed six people just in order to profit their pocketbooks. Let me know if you have any... This is sick. This is murder. Thank you, Juno. Is there a facility that you would consider an ideal candidate if you were to move forward with your recommendation? If we were. Based on low pro public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently in the Venturis fleet would be Lunar Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members aboard for a successive posting on Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. Thank you, Juno. We will, I'll be in touch. AI co consultation session ended. Now, of course, uh, and Odin was gracious enough to lay out this data everywhere. No way. No way. When Dell took the right. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin. Thank you. Hailing any ship. Any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Communications locked down, manually overridden. External communications restored. SOS relay enabled. Communication signal established. Legal data access. So does that mean I made it in time? Mission parameters allow for this operation by technical subcontract Amy Ferry randomly generating confirmation passphrase Zebra Foxtrot 853. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going to remember this. There's Odin. And of course, they don't want to lose Odin. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this down because I, do, I have the memory of a goldfish. 0451. And then it was. ZF eight five three. And I've already forgotten it. Thank goodness I wrote it down. Um, zero four five one. Confirmation passphrase. Subcontra for a record show that the AI cognitive medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates for Venturus HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. I feel like I just pulled out a big huge freaking brain. 
Is the crew okay though? That's my number one priority. That's for corporate. Do I have such codes for it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a weird hiccup. I have a 1070. Why do I have frame drops? Crew data. He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, get on the break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kids' graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no. No. Yeah, you know Nicholas. Why, well, he would never do something like that. What's going on? <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Yeah, um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive going to be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. It's alive. We're going to be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. We're going to be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. Oh, there's a cat. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. <sighs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness they're safe. Still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the... yeah, let's take a look here. Cryogen facility is active. Zero to six cryopods occupied. Oxygen supply two hours. Ten hours ago. So I arrived eight hours later. Yeah. Off-station message with Clue Dog. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going up on public AR already. Here's everything you sent that I got out to my free press connections. Tacoma comms records. Audio Sergio. Tragic death of crew. Unedited. Text orders. AI orders. Tacoma. Tacoma 2. Text. Internal report. Venturis. Belt legalization plan. Text AI. Support ticket for HECA. Uh, text AI. Judgment records. Tacoma Odin. Hex yeah, thank you H. There's no way Venturis is coming after you with all this info out there, but still needs some place to lay low for a bit. You coming to Tangiers? Can't our ride's headed the other way, but I'll see you once I'm back from Jupiter, promise. Jason message with Roberta Williams. S Sarah's got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. Uh, it's going to feel good to be out of gravity. It's going to feel good to be off of this effing station. It's going to feel good not to be dead. I love you. Love you too, baby. Here I go. See you in hub. 
I hope these guys get sued out of their arses. Drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. Oh. Well, let's rewind here. Are you feeling when we get done? I... Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Six hours of feet. Well, of course, because they're cold and they were frosty. Unoccupied. Andrew, unoccupied. What's this? Oh. And then the other ones would have been theirs. Defrosting kits. Upon ex exiting cryogenic stasis, you may feel groggy for two to four hours. Do not operate machinery during this time. Medical staff will supply you with one liter of water per hour. If necessary, IV fluids will be administered. You will also be supplied with a chemically activated warming blanket. If you still feel cold after 30 minutes, please alert medical staff. Don't worry if you have difficulty understanding the instructions. The staff member will help you uh, help you comply. I think I'm still waking up. Vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendent sting is just about docked. Oh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. <laughs> Believe me. You do not want to be here when shot falls. Biogenics. Come here, bot. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. My guess? What important is okay. okay, let's pause this for a second. I'll say some messages with Jermaine Burgess. Germ, old boy, you're famous now. Boy, oh boy, can't wait to see you. Breaking corporate arrival carnival in Daring Rescue of Stranded. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of the main competitor, the Resplendence. Carnival's state-of-the-art long excursion passenger liner is ex currently slingshotting past Earth and around the Sun, continuing its figure eight course back out past Jupiter while cruising toward Earth space. The Resplendence received an SOS. Only moments to act, Respl Resplendent's Captain Jermaine Burgess gallantly deployed an emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. The rescue op operation is still underway, but already Venturis caused by a crew member's illegal access to the station AI resulting, the AI unit is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to Venturis HQ for a thorough inspection. And, uh, I guess that's me. To all crew, comms are up. Not nah, Bert, comms are up. Check your AR. I'm going to wake everybody else up from cryo. Then I'm coming back to mech to get you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you, you woke up. Thank God. Rescue vessel on its way. We'll have just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the heck out of here while the getting's good. Wipe them back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely. Back to baseline. My guess? They'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. No. It's thanks to Odin these people are saved, you guys. They're just trying to get rid of Odin because Odin did what was for the better good to save these people.
Okay. Okay, so off station message with Cooley Dog. Hassan? What? Who is this? Sorry, I'm Sarah from Tacoma Station. Nat gave me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I could ask you for a favor. Oh, that's corrupted. Restoring failed. To mom and dad, I'm okay. Dear mom and dad, I know you're probably already seeing Tacoma in the news, but who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again, and I'm sure you're worried about me, but getting off the station now, no matter what you read or hear, the crew has survived this because we all pulled together to find a way out. It was a no malfunction. This was a deliberate... I know eight months sounds like a long time, but just remember, I love you. Speak to you when I can, Sarah. Let's rewind here. Uh, so what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. My guess? They'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably. What was red here again? Oh, this was about what happened. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right. Let's go. Go off and be free, you little drones. Okay, and I guess that's the end of the game. <laughs> Woo! What a ride, you guys! Holy cracks! Corporate conspiracy to the max! It's already one in the friggin' morning quarter after. I don't know. I need sleep. Woo! Four hours of sleep, not bad. Welcome aboard! <laughs> Wait, listen carefully for instructions from Odin. Uh, by entering the Ventura's facility, you can send to the following. This facility uses augmented reality body positional tracking for a multitude of critical functions. Visitors, visitor body positional data as well as audio and visual data may be retained by Ventura's Technologies and its subsidiaries. To better ensure the highest level of security and service by entering this facility, you relinquish all rights to any data collected by augmented reality system and release Ventura's from any future liability for its retention or use in perpetuity. So essentially it's like the AR, the uh, augmented reality which we witnessed and saw was um, their uh, Ventura's purpose of just trying to monitor, record, and to find out what happened. Because, you know, of course, if their plans go astray of trying to kill people, they want to know what caused it in the first place. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's head back. Amy. Mini, I'm back. Okay. Install AI netware here. Install.
Yeah, I hardware enclosure? Yeah, sure thing. Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. I wonder what would happen if I didn't strap in Odin. Well, Odin, uh, let's see what you got. It just tosses up so. Okay, Mini. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI. Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Uh. Here we go. Wow. Wow, holy crap, you guys. This game. Wow. Woohoo! What a ride. Now this is a visual novel. <laughs> well done, you guys. Well done. Holy crap. <laughs> This was good. This was good, you guys. This was good. This was good. So I wonder what would happen if I didn't put in Odin. I'd be the bad guy then? I didn't save beforehand, so that's kind of disappointing. It goes to show how many people are required to make such a game, you know? Like, holy crap. Holy crap. See, and I want to get involved in something like this, but I'm kind of like stuck in a dead-end job, but... Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to play. This was really impressive. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, Humble Bono. Oh my gosh. That was just... Wow. Start a new game, continue game. Can you even continue from... Would it continue from my last save? That would suck. But holy cripes. Oh, it's already installed. Amy. Obsidian class, hardware install, verified, Simron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Already installed. I can't go back. Can't go back. So how do I uninstall Odin? Let me 
I guess it's too late now. Okay, well... That sucks. I think I'd have to, like, go through the whole entire thing. So I guess we'll never know. Maybe we'll do a follow-up where we choose not to install Odin. We'll see. So, But still, amazing game. Amazing game. Absolutely amazing game. Amazing. So, but yeah, we are... Oh, and thank you, uh, Troy, for tuning in. Much appreciate. So, Becca, once again, you guys rock. Uh, let's see here. It's going to add you to the list, so that way I can credit y'all. Thank you for uh, tuning in. That's... Like what a great way! Like I'm feeling like crap, but it's it's like stories like that that can uh, and fiction pieces that uh, or non-fiction I guess, um, that um, or fiction technically. I keep forgetting the difference between fiction and non-fiction because so, fiction is that that's not real. Non-fiction is that it is real. I guess so. But yeah, what an incredible piece of work! Like way to and that's entertainment where it just gets your mind off things and kind of puts a smile on your face. So. But yeah, incredible stuff. Uh, incredible stuff. Once again, uh, thank you for everyone who uh, tuned in again. Once again, Caroline, Paul, Dennis, Alexei, Matt, Andy, Jay. Uh, thank you, Dennis, for commenting. Uh, Tim, uh, Matt, Skyler, uh, Matt, different Matt, uh, Jess, Devon, Cubal, uh, Alex, uh, Andrew, uh, Becca, and Troy. Thank you guys for tuning in. And special thanks uh, to, of course, uh, people who tuned in on YouTube, uh, Age Reaper, Uli, thank you for the comments and uh, keep me company here uh, as well. Um, and also uh, shout out to uh, Dennis and Gabriel who liked the stream and even greater shout out uh, to, of course, um, to uh, Becca and Devon for uh, loving the stream as well. But yeah, I believe that's everything. Uh, once again, a shout out to... Uh, everyone on the uh, previous stream i'll just review that once again so uh shout out uh to uh devon uh becca who loved the past stream uh fairy mike dorian Munson, and gabriel who liked the previous stream and a chief here for commenting and thank you again to sean peter alexei dave ron matt albert devon becca skylar cubal mike uh john fairy austin dana elijah and a uh, special thanks to Oli and Warfury and Liquid Snake. Um, so Oli and Warfury on YouTube and Liquid Snake on Mixer. And then everyone else who joined on the Book of Faces. Thank you so much. Today was an awesome stream. That is to Tacoma, you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Once again, uh, Tacoma, I believe, is still free to download. Let's quickly check here. Humble. And I can't spell. So Humble. Bundle. So 10 hours and 35 minutes. So you have 10 hours and 35 minutes to download this great game. And I highly suggest it just to experience it for yourself. I apologize if I, I guess, spoiled it for those who are watching. But uh, if you can, check it out. It's extremely fun, entertaining. And just space drama is finest. I was I, I was seriously concerned, invested whether or not they would die or not. <laughs> Thank guess they didn't. So once again, this is Reg at the DJ Music Studio. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And yeah, I once again, oh, I forgot to do an intro on myself. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm DJ music producer, live streamer, video game streamer, etc. Um, EDM lover of geek culture. I just love tech stuff, tech news, uh, cute stuffs, anime stuffs. Um, and yeah, I'm uh, a Vocaloid tuner for uh, Hatsune Miku and Megaruna Luka. And hopefully we can get to some of that uh, tomorrow or just playing some video games with the community Otherwise, looking forward to Miku Mondays because Miku's working again. And then tuning in Tuesdays where I'll probably work on a Luca track. So once again, thank you for joining and much appreciate. Everyone have an awesome night and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, actually, uh, not at the same time, but at an earlier time to play some Apex with my good friend Dennis. As long as I'm not overly tired and passing out. So take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. And don't forget, as always, stay determined.